saw the skull kind of walk away really fast. Hey, Roger. It's a sweep down to this little green area right here next to the road. Do we have another gun team? Um. <laughs> I know, bro. It's a good Like a legit? Man, this is PB Watson. We were just taking accurate IDF. Did you copy that traffic? That's a negative on the went down. That's an A firm. It was coming from our uh, southeast, right? Yeah, southeast. Roger, building 81 in Quebec 5 x There's cornfields. You're going to be the ammo for if I caught the more ammo, you could burn up every fucking hole that. Where is the other ammo? I don't think we're going to have to that fast, but... That's an A-firm. Beautiful morning. Where is the other ammo? I don't fucking know. Hey, that sounded like more fire to you, didn't it? Yeah. I'm like two or three to me. The explosions are hanging up. Hey, make sure that fucker doesn't go through the middle. Good. Good. Hey, coming up. Coming up. You got enough guys. Alright, good to go. Hey, see that compound right there? Four meters that way. Right there. Go. Smoke, right? Hey, we're dropping right, smoke! Alright, go! Hey, we're just jumping there! Yeah, I got it! Hold on! Hurry up! Oh, Alright, we got trigger! Down! 200 meters, right? Down! Get down! Ready? Bang! There it is, I see it. You want HGNX? Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna set the. Hey, 
back, sir. Hey, further. Further out. At 50. At 50. At 50. Right, go, go, go. Wait, wait, wait. Quarters, quarters. I got 150 rounds left. All right, ready? Fire. It is. Get smoke ready. Get some more smoke. Friendly coming up, friendly coming up. Now for charting. Come on. Hey, Let's go. Get up, friendly, friendly, get up here. Friendly, friendly. Up. If you're coming up, get up. Now for char coming down. No problem. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! 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 Hey, get another one on Let's it. Let's go. Let's go. On it. You ready? Right, yeah. Out. Go ahead. Go. Do it, man. Fight! Fight! And make sure that thing's not falling through the roof, though. It's not, sir. How are you shooting at us? It's stable. Hey, this is that one. Hey, we take contact that way. Yeah, yeah. That was weird. Oh, oh my God. Hey, 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 we're gonna go shoot another round, all right? Get it, right, load, half load, bitch. Drop it. All right, ready? Fine. Yeah, good. As you cut off their egress route. You want to smoke their egress route? Hey, we're down two rounds. Okay, don't come any further right yeah, than that. Right. See where the smoke is, don't come any further right than that. All right, all right. All right. Have them get it to the steps and go over and get it. We're not having fucking yeah. another person up here fucking unnecessarily. Yeah. Hey, they bring it to the steps, I'll run it to you. Huh? Hey. They bring it to the steps, I'll run it to you. All right, thank Hey, Pose! You guys... Yeah, we're coming to the little bit. Huh? Dad, he's too pretty for one of the he said that exactly we don't know that where are the IDs, but as we know, the Taliban told our villagers that there are some IDs in this building and do not let the children to go over there to the building. Uh, the first thing coming out here, um, you know, we knew the area somewhat. We ran a couple of uh, operations uh, just to the east of Pote. And uh, coming out, we kind of knew that uh, we weren't welcome in the area. Um, didn't really see too many locals. Uh, you know, we moved in. We thought uh, there were going to be people in the compound and having to not be anybody in the compound. So we got in, cleared out the compound, set up. Um, seemed like a good position. You know, we have you know, good 360 de view, uh, degree view uh, of the area. Um, as far as that, it is pretty pretty good setup. Happened pretty quick too, which was nice. Uh, the attack, uh, actually we weren't expecting it. Uh, we figured that a few couple, you know, the first couple patrols that we launched from there would probably take contact just because they knew we were in the area then. Um, I think the, they got used to a recon being here. They'd take over a building, leave after a couple days, and then I figured that's what they thought we were doing. And then uh, I think once they kind of learned that we were going to stay firm there, uh, you know, it's it kind of like a no-holds bar for them. They're going to try to test the waters. I still think the Taliban are trying to figure out whether, you know, we are still third recon or we're a different unit. Uh, I know word's been out to the locals that third recon's gone because talking to a few people in Pote and Harat Yan. That they're saying, uh, you guys are new Marines. Um, cracked off about seven o'clock. Uh, we had a DM on the roof along with uh, the posts up there. Uh, got eyes on a guy with uh, ICOM radio. We got a lob from the Wolfhound to that guy. He was talking, uh, you know, showed hostile intent. And uh, from there, uh, the DM took him out. Uh, it was one shot, he was done. Uh, from there, uh, as soon as he went down, three guys ran across the field, headed over to Compound 81. Um, post caught that, hit the first dude. He went down, and uh, from there, his two buddies grabbed him, dragged him off into the corn, and then it, you know, it started. They started to break down on us. We had contact from the west, uh, northwest. We had it to uh, the southeast, and then uh, a little bit coming directly south from uh, Taliban Highway. Um, I think they're trying to test the water, see what was going on, feel us out a little bit. We responded well. Um, firefight probably lasted about 30 minutes, which is kind of, it's long for what we've been hearing from third recon and whatnot. So, mortars had eyes on a guy in a compound. 
Uh, we knew the compound was abandoned. Uh, as soon as he got in there, um, that was where the DM took out the first, uh, the first guy in the ICOM from the roof. Um, one more fighter moved in. We saw him pull the guy, uh, the guy who had the ICOM who was dead, uh, pull his body out, grab the ICOM. We got more chatter, and then two more fighters filled that compound, um, knowing that there was no pattern of life there. Uh, with the mortars, uh, we the first Taliban that we killed uh, on the ICOM, he was still in that compound. Uh, we saw another uh, military-aged male flood that compound. Um, he got in from uh, the DM's perspective on the roof. He saw the guy pull the body, you know, out of the line of sight, grab the ICOM. As soon as he picked up the ICOM, two more guys came into that building. Um, they were armed. We couldn't get a shot off. But uh, they started chatting on the ICOM again. We got a lob from the Wolfhound. Um, we had direct line of sight to the compound, and knowing that no one else was going to get hurt in the area, we cleared a 60s hot. Um, they dropped two rounds on that building. Uh, I'm not sure on the outcome of uh, the fighters inside. Uh, we know we got the one with the DM. As far as the other three, if one got hurt, two got hurt, all of them got hurt, we have no idea. Um, due to the amount of fire and who else was in contact in our QRF efforts, we couldn't do a BDA. And by that time, the bodies would have been gone anyway. Marines responded great. I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't be more proud of them. Uh, just everything they've been doing, you know, they're, they're not afraid of the SAF which is good um, from our perspective, because as soon as rounds have cracked off, we've been able to get a good ad rack, get direction and distance, and uh, engage the enemy from there. Um, they've been re responding immediately, which is, that's all I can ask for. Morale's good right now. Um, you know, being in Trek now before here, where not a lot was happening. Uh, you know, a lot of these guys were with the unit before. Unfortunately, I wasn't. I was with 2-9 uh, before. Uh, morale's high. Uh, being in Trek now, it was, you know, it was dry. A lot of these guys pushed Marja um, with 1-6 on the last uh, deployment. And uh, even with the younger guys hearing about their experiences, our experiences, you know, some guys have done two, three, four deployments. So, you know, you train them and you train them and train them to do their job. You go to a dry place, you know, it was good. Everybody's like, hey, you know, we're safe, no big deal. But, uh, you know, it starts to wear on them a little bit because, they, you know, they think, you know, we're never going to be able to do our job kind of thing, which with the young guys, it's hard to preach to them that it's it's not about how many firefights you get, how many IDs you get. It's about, you know, the effect you make on the populace. Um, you know, now that we got here, you know, it's a lot more sporty of an environment. Um, you know, the Taliban are very active here. And uh, uh, it's a lot more sporty of an environment here. Uh, you know, we're... In Marja, you're looking at, you know, 250 to 300 meter engagements to where here we've been engaged as close as 40 meters. You know, that's, for young guys, a lot. I know a lot of my guys, that was their first ever firefight, was a 40 meter ambush. And uh, it, it's an eye opener, but you know, no one got hurt. They understand, you know, what's going on here. And, uh, you know, I hear them reflect back, you know, to Trek now all the time. Like, I can't wait till we make this area how Trek now was. So, you know, in their minds, you know, they're focused to do the right things here, not just go out and get firefights, but to actually work with the people and, uh, you know, try to quiet this area down and if not shut it off. So it's, it's actually real good.